Andrew Chen, The Cold Start Problem Imagine breaking through the clutter of millions of apps and cracking the formula for creating the next Tinder, Zoom, or Airbnb. To do so, you need to harness the cold start problem, the titular concept explored by Andrew Chun in his book. Dive into a world where network effect and strategies for initial user acquisition are the keys to a startup success. This summary takes you on a fascinating journey through the unique world of meerkats, the challenges of escaping velocity, atomic networks, and finally, building a moat around your business to outdo the competition. Learn from the successes and pitfalls of tech giants and find out how to apply these lessons to forge the path for your own startup's triumph. The Difficulty of Utilizing Network Effect in today's age of limited attention spans, leveraging network effect to launch new technology isn't as easy as it seems. With millions of apps in competition, even small startups struggle to capture users' attention and grow their network. Additionally, established giants may not be able to break into a new market when a smaller company dominates with a resilient and growing network. This is exemplified by the battle between Snapchat and Instagram, where even though Instagram copied Snapchat's features, it couldn't outdo its rival due to the strength of Snapchat's network. Therefore, understanding and successfully utilizing network effect is far from straightforward. Meerkat Dynamics and the Network Effect The behavior of meerkats in the wild can teach us a lot about the network effect in tech companies. Meerkats rely on their hypersocial interactions to protect themselves from predators and grow their population. Similarly, tech companies rely on the network effect to expand their user base. The Ali threshold, which represents the tipping point of population growth, is key to understanding how this effect works. When tech companies reach this threshold, they experience rapid growth, as was the case with MySpace. However, just like meerkat populations can collapse if their numbers become too few or too many, so can tech companies if a more powerful competitor arrives on the scene. Ultimately, the fate of tech companies is linked to the delicate balance of the network effect, just as the fate of meerkats is linked to their ability to stick together and protect one another. Entering the escape velocity When a network surpasses a certain size, it reaches escape velocity, a point of explosive growth. Three forces contribute to this phenomenon, the acquisition effect, where early positive experiences lead users to invite others, the engagement effect, where users are introduced to new use cases and deepening their experience, and the economic effect, where economic performance matches the network's growth. The goal of a company that reaches escape velocity is to grow and enhance network effects that led to early success. This process can be seen in companies like PayPal, Uber, Fortnite, and Slack. Overcoming the Cold Start Problem The article explains what the cold start problem is, its causes, and its implications for businesses. It highlights the value of securing an atomic network of initial users who can promote and test a product before launch, using the case of Slack as an example. By now, you probably have heard of the network effect and how it works. However, the cold start problem poses a unique challenge to businesses of all sizes. It refers to the difficulty of getting a new product or service off the ground, mainly due to a lack of initial users and feedback. The causes of the cold start problem are either a failure of networks to connect with an idea or dissatisfaction with the product or service among early adopters. For instance, a movie streaming app with limited content will fail to retain users who will drift away and never return. To mitigate this problem, companies should focus on securing an atomic network, a small but secure group of initial users who can test and promote a product before it launches. One example of a company that succeeded in overcoming the cold start problem is Slack. The company started as a gaming startup called Tiny Spec, with a multiplayer game called Glitch as its first product. But when Glitch failed, the company turned to its in-house communication tool called FrankenTool, which eventually became Slack. The company tested Slack with friends from other startups before launching, securing an atomic network of 45 companies to promote and test the product. The lessons from Slack's success are clear. 
To overcome the cold start problem, businesses need to invest their efforts in securing an atomic network of initial users who can promote, test, and provide feedback on a product before it launches. With an effective atomic network, businesses can ensure the success of their products and avoid losing users in the crucial early stages of growth. Challenges faced by growing networks As a network grows and attains success, it presents unique challenges like ceiling caps, market saturation, and arrival of bad actors. Managing these problems requires a proactive approach, such as building new networks or creating smaller self-contained bubbles that allow select people to interact. Examples of this include WhatsApp and iMessage, which have managed to maintain the original context of their networks. It's crucial to deal with these challenges to avoid the collapse of the network and ensure continued growth. Building a moat, the key to success. Airbnb has become the world's largest rental service due to its ability to build a large and impenetrable network, also known as a moat, to keep its competitors at bay. As a company matures, it will face competition that can easily leverage the same network effects that led to its success. To stay ahead, a company must not only have the best brand, product, and partnerships, but it must also have a network that cannot be easily replicated. In its battle with Wimdu, a strong competitor in Europe, Airbnb focused on building networks of quality rentals instead of engaging in short-term price reductions. By doing so, alongside a targeted marketing campaign, Airbnb secured faithful networks across the continent and created a moat that allowed it to triumph. Successful companies must be vigilant and watch over their networks continuously, or else a rival will sneak in and steal away their network bit by bit, until there is nothing left. In conclusion, the cold start problem delves into the struggles faced by startups and established giants alike in harnessing the network effect. It emphasizes the importance of acquiring that first, crucial user base and overcoming initial challenges through atomic networks. Lessons from Meerkats and the Ali Threshold, exploring competitive moats, and continuous growth help us glean valuable insights into ensuring long-term success. As you finish this summary, you're armed with the knowledge of how to capitalize on network effects, face head-on the challenges of growth, and secure a formidable position in today's competitive tech landscape.